Hello everybody, welcome to another week of Drawing with Waffles. And today I am going to be drawing with three crayons, which is red, blue, and yellow. So this is based off um, like when you go to a restaurant and they give you the kitty menu because you still look like you're 10, even though you're not. But you don't complain because, you know, I'd really like to draw anyway. So I feel like everyone's done this. They've taken those three crayons they get and they flip over the menu, that, like the little kitty menu that they give you, and you draw draw something. <laughs> I know I have. I've been doing this for forever. I didn't realize this until recently when I googled it to like make this challenge video because I was just like trying to look it up because turns out a lot of restaurants will actually give you four crayons which I was never so lucky as a child. <laughs> it was three crayons <laughs> and one of them was yellow. I remember being so upset when I was younger. I'm like why is one of them yellow? I can't even use this. It doesn't show up. But then as I got a little bit older I realized whoa the yellow is like perfect for sketching which is why at the beginning of this video it was kind of hard to see what I was doing because I was using the yellow crayon and so if you sketch with the yellow crayon and then you go over it with the other colors it's that second sketch layer that I'm always talking about, you know? So the first one's the yellow, and then the next one is whatever color you decide to go with. I think I chose blue, and it really pops once you do that. So it helps you get rid of all those errors before you even start, before anyone can see it. Like, you get rid of all your mess ups before someone can even tell what you're drawing. So I think that is awesome. And I remember figuring that out when I was younger, and I was like, this is so awesome! And then everyone thought I was like a 10 times better artist when in fact it was just I had spent more time on it than they realized. <laughs> so that is the idea behind the kitty menu drawing challenge with the crayons. It's funny because the whole time I was drawing this, I kept getting memories of back when I was a kid and drawing on kitty menus. And I remember it was always like it was the trick to be able to finish your drawing before the food got there and I remember multiple occasions I wasn't done and I was like upset that I got food before I was done and I'm like eh, I want to keep drawing but now I've gotten older and I've come to terms with you know food is great and delicious so uh, there's it's time to not draw and just eat <laughs> So currently I am just working on that second sketch layer, redefining everything and making sure it's a little bit sharper and looks the way I want it to. Um, this is when I decided I wanted to be a skirt instead of a pair of shorts. It was originally going to just be some high-waisted shorts, but I decided to go with like a skirt where the top of it's denim and then the bottom's a little bit more cloth-like. At least that was the idea. Um, I really like the way her hair turned out with the braids right now. Um, later, once it start, like got to the point where I needed to color the drawing, that's where it gets a little... Uh, tricky <laughs> since there is only um three colors and uh, one of them's yellow <laughs> and one of them is your line art color it's extra tricky because um so I colored the shirt yellow and then I colored the denim blue but at that point it was like I didn't really know what to do with the red because the red um when I tried to fill in the colors with it it looked a lot pinker and it wasn't filling in the pores of the paper very well so I had to darken it and then once it was so dark it was I don't know I added the yellow in to try and lighten it up and to fill in the little holes that weren't coloring in with the red which I think helped if you'll notice, I actually used both red and blue to color um, her eyelashes because I wanted those to be very, very dark and bold, so that was like the black, and since I didn't have a black, I decided to mix all the colors. Um, I also used red to outline the yellow shirt because I thought the blue wasn't, you know, again, bold enough. I wanted it to, you know, have contrast between the yellow and the line art. And anywhere I thought that the blue was just a little too light, I went over with the red. And my red was actually the sharpest crayon I had, so it was actually very helpful in creating little finer details. Um, with the hair, I actually went over with, with red too, but I was like, um, probably shouldn't have, because now like, I feel like everything feels like it's about the same color, even though it's filled in a little different. And I also added like a little smiley face to the shirt and stripes to her sleeves. Um, just to add some more design to the yellow, because I thought the yellow was a little too bland by itself. And then I added this little circle around her, just to make her show up a little more, especially since I hadn't used that much red, and I wanted to use a little bit more red. since It, it used to be the color I'd use the most when I would draw, so I remember that. And then I just signed it in big, huge letters, because it's hard to draw right in crayon. Um, here's my drawing. There's one thing I don't really like about it, which is under the eyes. I tried to make it look like she was smiling, and it just kind of looked like she's got wrinkles. So, she's a little bit older than I thought she was going to be. <laughs> so, anyway, that was my illustration. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll try the kitty menu drawing challenge with the crayons. Um, you can use the four crayons if you want, but then it has to be green, yellow, red, and blue. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next week. Have a delicious evening. Follow Waffers! Bye!